now in high definition from the station on your side. This is Waiting News Online. Thanks for logging on. I'm Lori Crouch. Topping this webcast the night after a toddler fell to her death from a fifth story hotel balcony. Police continue their investigation into exactly what happened. It happened Friday night around 830 at the Sandcastle Oceanfront Resort Hotel in Virginia Beach. Ten on your side, Surrey Crow has a story. A pink and blue blow-up toy with the word princess written on it hangs over the fifth floor balcony marking the spot where unimaginable tragedy happened the night before. A two-year-old whose vacationing family says she slipped and fell through this awning and to her death in the middle of a busy restaurant. I was out taking an order at my table and I heard a huge crash, sounded like a gunshot. Um, I jumped back, I guess she would have hit me if I didn't jump back, it was that close. And next thing I know, there's a little girl laying on the ground. Janet Correo, vacationing from Michigan, rode her bike to the scene moments after it happened. When you pulled up, you saw forensics. And so they immediately you knew something wasn't right. And then to get around here and everybody's talking about a little girl, it was heartbreaking. I get a lot of tears. Today, this mother of three is still shaken by the horrific accident and was visibly upset when we told her that the baby didn't survive her injuries. Like, I couldn't imagine. I, there's, I couldn't imagine it being one of my kids. The child's family tells police that the toddler slipped through the railing to grab the toy. For her family, it was simply a moment too late. Now this mother says the horrible accident has her reconsidering her own holiday plans. We're talking about bringing my kids back, but this really makes me think twice. And that was Surrey Crow reporting. Dozens of dogs seized from a North Carolina puppy mill arrived today in Hampton Roads. Ten on your side cameras were there as the puppies arrived at the Norfolk SPCA this afternoon. More puppies were taken to the Virginia Beach SPCA. Animal control officers in Caldwell County, north of Charlotte, confiscated nearly 300 animals. The dogs were kept in deplorable conditions and never received professional medical care. Please do not buy over the internet. You have no idea what's going on in the kennel, what the situation there is. This guy had a great website, from our heart to yours, pictures of cute puppies. He's selling them for up to $1,000. But what you didn't see was in the background, the parents were being mistreated horribly. The North Carolina kennel owner faces animal cruelty and neglect charges. A variety of breeds is included in the rescue bunch. Terriers, Pomeranians, Chihuahuas, and others. If you're in interested in adopting one of these puppies, contact the Norfolk SPCA or the Virginia Beach SPCA for more information. Now, in high definition, from the station on your side, this is Super Doppler 10 Online. It was a blazing for today when we are looking at temperatures uh, taking a small dip, but still hot and humid for tomorrow. Overnight tonight, a couple of showers, temperatures falling around 72 degrees. Tomorrow, we start off with numbers in the upper 70s. We warm it to 87 degrees by noon. We'll have chances throughout the day for showers and storms, but I think the best chances will be in the morning and again in the late afternoon and evening. It's not going to be a washout, but uh, I think you should be prepared. Maybe have that umbrella handy as you head out and about for five. Father's Day. Chances for showers and storms early on in the day on Monday, 87 degrees. Then it's back to the 90s Tuesday and through much of the week. That's the news online for now. Our next newscast starts at 6 a.m. We'll see you then. Now, in high definition, from the station on your side, this is Waiting News Online.